Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about one of my favorite abstract algebra books and this is a book that I have used for self-study. The book is Abstract Algebra with a Concrete Introduction and the author is Beachy and Blair. I have spent a considerable amount of time reading through this book. Uh, I used it to learn a lot of mathematics. In particular, I used this book to teach myself field theory. So all of the field theory that I know, at least initially, came from this book, and pretty much this book only. Uh, I never took an undergraduate course where I learned field theory. So when I got to grad school, it was kind of expected that I knew field theory. And it was this book uh, that, for me, provided the clearest explanation on field theory. So let's go and look inside this awesome book. I probably should mention, before we look at the contents, that uh, the cover is beautiful, right? I mean, look at that. Abstract Algebra with a Concrete Introduction. Just, It's just a really pretty book. I, I really hope this video does it justice. It just looks great. And actually, my copy uh, is new. Uh, for some reason, I spent the extra money and I got a newer version. Maybe it wasn't that expensive. That could have been it. So here's the table of contents. It starts off with integers. I have read some of this. It's pretty good. So I've glanced at these sections and I've read some of this on chapter one. Let's turn the page. Functions, I've probably read all of this at some point. Same with groups. Polynomials, yes. So I've definitely spent some time uh, reading this, right? Because see here it says field, roots of polynomials. So this is, uh, before you get into field theory, you need some of the theory uh, from polynomials. Then he goes into commutative rings, which I've also read this chapter, and fields, which I've also read this chapter. Yep, structure of groups, and then Galois theory. So I've read most of this book. I'd say maybe five to six of the eight chapters I've actually gone through and read carefully and worked through the proofs that the author gives. I've done some of the exercises, but again, for the most part, uh, I use this for the ring and field theory uh, when learning about fields. Really, really, really good book. So the readability of this book is absolutely amazing. Um, I love this book because for me, this was the best book to learn field theory. I was able to read this book and understand enough field theory to be able to work through the exercises in my other courses that required a knowledge of field theory. So I knew absolutely no field theory uh, before picking up this book. All I had was a one semester course at the undergraduate level in abstract algebra. So I was able to pick this book up and learn as much field theory as possible. Um, I tried other books, but again, for me, this was the one that helped me the most. And that's why I mainly uh, I'm doing this review because I really want to help you uh, learn. And again, field theory, get this book. It's so good. There are exercises in each section, uh, but unfortunately there are no answers. I think if you uh, go to Google and search for the book, you might be able to find like some solutions uh, given by the author or a supplement. Uh, I have never done the exercises in this book, um, so I can't really comment on them. Uh, again, I mainly use this book for the actual theorems and definitions and examples that the author gives in the actual text. And again, uh, extremely good book. And I should emphasize that this book is not just good for field theory. It's good for abstract algebra in general, right? It's a really good book. I remember reading um, the section on group actions. And again, that's not something I, I learned uh, in a classroom. I had to teach myself group actions um, because it was expected that I kind of already knew it uh, when I was in grad school. So this book does a really good job. It's a great book. So again, the book is Abstract Algebra with a Concrete Introduction by Beachy and Blair. Um, if you're serious about abstract algebra or if you're looking for a beginner book, this book is totally worth getting. It's got a really fancy cover. And yeah, this is my, my copy. I own this book. Um, and I bought it new. Right? I bought it new because I think the price when I bought it, there wasn't a big price difference between new and used. Um, so yeah, that's it. Take care.